last week we were mentioning that yogi the one to catch krishna with their effort their efforts efforts in the sense intense austerities very hard penance but they are fed and we saw that how mother yashoda is able to catch krishna and how krishna is running away in fear krishna is the source of all energy and power he no need to become fearful so it's just this incident is to show the difference between devotee and yogis <laughs> and the word came purity pure devotee like mother yashoda it is defining over here and with this purity of mother yashoda krishna very easily caught meaning pure devotee the same thing that yogi also try to catch or try to reach krishna by their as i said by the jnana yoga In the last verse, it is very clearly explained, and Prabhupada also saying purport in his things. Anavancha mana janini bhyat charas shoni bhagranti gati sumadhyam javen me sansit ke sumandan tukmasuna anugati paramshat. While following Krishna. Krishna ga Krishna ka sekadari Mother Yashoda Her thin waist overburdened by her heavy breasts breasts And naturally she is tired so naturally had to reduce her speed Following them says she was running after Krishna. Because of following Krishna very swiftly, her hair became loose and the flowers in her hair we are falling after her yet she did not fail to capture her son krishna it is showing this uh, translator is showing that to forgetting about this physical consciousness bodily consciousness the same thing here happening with mother yashoda she totally forgotten herself while she was after krishna here this matter is not concerned that why she wants to catch krishna The only thing that she was after Krishna. Tada, 
クリスナーが追いかけてるからね。Or rather, Rani. When we are just follow Rather Rani, we have to forget this as this verse is saying. This bodily consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Then it is very easy to hold the Lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. Now, Prabhupada is saying in his purple Yogis cannot capture Krishna by severe penances and austerities. But Mother Yashoda, despite all obstacles, was finally able to catch Krishna without difficulty. Means that our process should be very easy. Doing something with the force and devotion as the purport of Srila Prabhupada is indicating cannot work. The everything, all performance in our spiritual world should be very In a soft way. Soft in the sense that our a devotee nature should be with full of humility. Yeah, it's not like it happens in one day, but our practice should be like this. And whatever we are doing, As a devotee. So, it should be very smooth and soft. And this is the basic difference between yogi and devotee. Yogis cannot enter even the effulgence of Krishna. Yes, a Prabha Prabha Vato Jagat and the Koti Koti Shu in Brahma Sainta it is written. In that effulgence, there are millions of the universe. Krishna no Koki no Naka Prima wa Nambiak Mama no Chanta. But yogis. And jnanis cannot enter in that effulgence even after many, many years of austerities. Whereas bhaktas can capture. <clears throat> Simply by love and affection. Sometime, long time, different kind of practices. It stops us or doesn't let increase our this mood. But this is very clear in devotees' life. And without love and affection. And without developing. Relation 
Thank you, Haru Kumar. Thank you. This is totally impossible. Come on. Come on. Like the yogis are doing, they are not success. Yogi, that's not the question. So this is the example shown here by Mother Yeshuva. Krishna therefore confirms if one wants to capture him. One must undertake devotional services. Rade. Rade, Rade. Uh, I, I have a question. What is the difference between yogi? And Bhakta. As far as my small mind works, it's, it's like a, yogis are forcefully want to do at their personal effort. They think I can do. And I think by saying this somewhere, the nature of surrender is missing. So they go under through one particular process to reach somewhere. But with this process, the many, as it is over sale, says that love and affection, the things are missing. Or they are very strong on their bodily consciousness. They do with their mind. And instead of doing with their heart, this much I can say only. I want to add something. Yogi has no relation. Yogi relate. If they relate, they see the controller to the God. They, they have a not personal relation with Krishna. Mother Jasoda is not meditating, but at the same time, she is also yogi because she never forgets. Krishna, this is the yoga of devotion. Because of the motherly love, so intense was there, so meditation is there, but at a small baby Krishna, that the form is there, and the love is there, and relation is there. That yogi cannot has because devo devotee has a devotee means relation. Devotion cannot go without relation with the istadev. And that is only as a bhakta who can uh, devotion. And this bhakti means who want to do for his lover, he want to do, mother want to do for his son. He don't know what is the, my duty, only she 
my service. I want to please myself. That is the one pointed program Mother Jasoda has. That is, that is her devotion for his child. We do not see it as a god, but he is seen like a child. And yogi see like a god, not with a personal relation. Bhaktiya maam abhi jananti yavan yas chasmi tattvataha tato maam tattvato jyatva visate tad anantar in 18th chapter Snoka 55 in Bhagavad Gita, which I say over here. Bhakta enter even the planet of Krishna very easily. But the less intelligent yogis and jnanis by their meditation remain running after Krishna. Even if they enter Krishna's effulgence, they fall down. Again, here it is said the less intelligent yogis this less intelligent that there is definitely something missing. They couldn't make able themselves to relate with Krishna. That's the point. Bhakta Mama Janati. Yeah. Only Bhakta can know me. Who has a relation, he knows. This is the science of Bhakti. Means if I have no relation, with Krishna, I cannot be a bhakta. I am in yogi for yogi stage. If relation is not there, I am not a bhakta, yogi. Only bhakta can understand me. That he wants to say. Yes. In material relation, no? It's a relation and not a person. He doesn't tell right, no? In material world, Rasa is telling, if I have relation, I know everything. But if I have no relation, I cannot relate. <laughs> and they remain running after Krishna. Krishna <laughs> They will not get anything. Even if they enter Krishna's effulgence, okay. they fall down. Oh. And the bhakta, Krishna run for the mother. You see, mother is not running for Krishna. Now he want to get, mother want to catch. But Krishna is coming all the time to mother. That he is hungry. Because he is he need mother. This is bhakti. Mm -hmm. Krishna need mother. Uh, Krishna is going to the home of the Kopi because they want them. Mm -hmm. This is bhakti. Gopi is making the butter. She is thinking if Krishna is so nice, then Krishna go to steal the butter. Mm -hmm. Because they, these are the inner connection, they are calling to Krishna, and Krishna can understand that. That is devotion. And without relation, it's not moving. Okay. 
तागसत प्रुर्दंत मक्षिणी हसंत मंजन मशिणी स्वपाणिना सुदीक्षण भयभिलेक्षण अस्ति गृहवा विसंति वृत When Krishna caught by Mother Yashoda, Krishna. I and admitted to being an offender. as she looked upon him she saw that he was crying his tears mixing with the black ointment around his eyes and as as he rubbed his eyes with his hands he smeared the ointment all over his face mother yashoda you see mother is looking this and at the same time mother is showing all the listener who is listening to feel what is the situation of krishna how to see krishna that his kajal his eyebrow is in not only near to the eyes all the face he he with the water he put on the all face a kajal why yeah. You always want to be humble in the front of love. I know why they want to be taken. And this way, this crying attracts the heart of mother. She cannot control herself because the tears make heart melting of mother. That is so number one. that is the highest rasik bhakta can explain this way that you can see the darshan of krishna you can see him what is his situation and now you will see you will know the situation of mother this is the Mother Yashoda, catching her beautiful son by the hand, you see, front of mother means the love is so high. That doesn't matter that the ointment is spread over on his face. That's why mother is thinking, even thinking that my child is not become like. with kajal with this black thing bad so here in translation it is said that catching her beautiful son <laughs> by the hand mildly mildly began to to chastise him <laughs> your motherly love is so high in this relation so even if mother yashoda wants to become literally strong it is not possible for her because she is pure devotee now prabhupada is writing in his purport from these dealings between mother yashoda and krishna 
we can understand the exalted position of a pure devotee in loving service to the Lord. Is all loving service Mother Yasoda doing to Krishna? Yogis, Jnanis, Karmis, and Vedantists cannot even approach Krishna. They must remain very, very far away from Him and try to enter His bodily effulgence Although this also they are unable to do. They want to become one. This is their problem. They want the similar Tattva Masi, Soha Masmi. This is the yogis and jnanis problem. Great demigods like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva always worship the Lord by meditation and by service. Even the most powerful Yamaraja fears Krishna Yamaraj is the god of death. He even fears Krishna. Therefore, as we find in the history of Ajamila, There is a story about Ajamil. He was the devotee of Narayan. This will be received. Yamaraja instructed his followers not even to approach the devotees. What to speak of capturing them? In other words, Yamaraj also fears Krishna and Krishna's devotees. Yet, this Krishna became so dependent on Mother Yashoda that when she simply showed Krishna the stick in her hand, Krishna admitted to being an offender. And began to cry like an ordinary child.
Mother Yashoda, of course, did not want to chastise her beloved child. One thing is here that in front of love, Krishna can admit many things. And his situation is very ordinary over there in front of love. This is also very clear in this sentence. In front of love, God power is ordinary. <laughs> and ready to admit, ready to admit means ready to listen what a bhakta, what a devotee is saying. It's all happening in love after developing a relation. Mother Yashoda, of course, did not want to chastise her beloved child very much. Outside showing inside something. So this is uplift a higher stage of love. love. The word came here that she doesn't didn't want to chastise her beloved child very much. It was just a little to showing from outside. And therefore, she immediately threw her stick. <laughs> My son will become more and more fearful. Stick away and simply rebuke Krishna. Saying, now I shall bind you so that you cannot commit any further offensive activities. Only a devotee can say to his Lord. That you are doing some offensive activities. The same thing happening with this Kunjalila and Kunjalila. That many times of the Sakhis and Radharani also saying so many things to him. That you are like this, you are like this. And Krishna silently bounding him, joining both of his hands, he is listening and listening. <laughs> Why? Because there is the one thing only called love. Not ordinary love, actually. This love, a person like me, I'm just reading many times, I said, cannot say it. Yeah. They can say more about this. I'm not uh, so much able to about say many things about this. High class love. You cannot commit any further offensive activities after mine. One more thing is coming that binding means Assigning. Okay. With the assignment, we feel a bond also. 
And now you will help me to reach what is called absolute truth. This is also possible here. I bounded with you with love. And I actually are we are Radha Dasi, but you we assign you that is stop all other kind of this offensive activities what we are doing. And bring us near the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. Not for the time being can you play with your playmates. This shows the position of a pure devotee. In contrast with others, like Gyanis, <coughs> Yogis, and the followers of Vedic ritualistic ceremonies, and regarding the transcendental nature of the absolute truth. In regarding the transcendental nature of the absolute truth. Krishna is not even far away. The practice of this type of things, the reaching to absolute also far away from by these type of practitioners. Yogi, Jnanis and Vedantis. Tektva yashti sudam bhitam vijayar bhatsala yes kiltam badadum drammar dhvidi kovida Mother Yashoda was always overwhelmed by intense love for Krishna. Intense love. Not knowing who Krishna was or how powerful he was. Because of maternal affection for Krishna. Means relation. She never even cared to know who he was. Therefore, When she saw that her son had become excessively afraid, she threw the stick away and desired to bind him so that he would not commit any further naughty activities. You know, Prabhupada is reading in this purple writing. Mother Yashoda wanted to bind Krishna not in order to chastise him 
but because she thought that the child was so restless that he might leave the house in fear. Wow. It's also that how much in love when the relation is so deep and deep and strong, how much you think about your the relation to whom you are related. That would be another disturbance. Both things are going very clearly. A very, very intelligent mother who is thinking on every aspect of the child. At the same time, showing the abundance of love with much care. It's just about that I have to run outside when he will run away, if he run away. Better to throw this stick and catch him in the bite. This you thought. How long I can have to run after him? Who knows? Or maybe she is thinking that if we will run and more, we can fall down also. But my child can get, can get hurt. In love, a mother thinks all these things. Maybe possible mother, Yashada. Here she is playing actually double role. One pure devotee. And second is with a mother full of love with a child. Therefore, because of full affection to stop Krishna from leaving the house, she wanted to bind him with the rope. This is the thing. How much we are care, how much we care in love, or how much we care in our relation. The relation is this. Mother Ishoda wanted to impress upon Krishna. That since he was afraid merely to see her stick, he should not perform such disturbing activities. As breaking the container of yogurt and butter and distributing it contents to the monkeys. Just to stop that you have you should have to stop your naughty activities. Mm. This stick was not for anything else. Mother Yashoda did not care to understand who Krishna was and how his power spread everywhere. 
This is an example of pure love for Krishna. Na chantaran bhari yasyasya na purvam na pichaparam purvaparam bhai chantar jagdo yo jagatchi yaha. Tam bhav tam vatma ar vatma jam avyaktam matyan lingam adhokshu jam gopiko lukhe dam ram bhavanda prakirtam yatha. The Supreme Personality of Godhead. Has no beginning and no end, no exterior and no interior, no front and no rear. In other words, he is all pervading. Because he is not under the influence of the element of time. For him, there is no difference between past, present, and future. Kalatit. He exists in his own transcendental form at all times. Being absolute, beyond relativity, he is fr free from distinctions between cause and effect. Although he is the cause and effect of everything. That unmanifested person who is beyond the perception of the senses had now appeared as a human child and Mother Yashoda considering him her own ordinary child, bound him to the wooden mortar with a rope. Now this Prabhupada is explaining in his purpose. In Bhagavad Gita, chapter 10, verse number 12, Krishna is described as the Supreme Brahma. The word Brahma means the greatest. Krishna is greater than the greatest. Being unlimited and all-pervading. How can it be possible for the all-pervading to be measured or bound? Then again, Krishna is the time factor. Therefore, He is all-pervading not only in the space, but also in time. We have measurements of time. But although we are limited by past, present and future, for Krishna, these do not exist. 
every individual person can be measured. But Krishna has already shown that although he also is an individual, the entire cosmic manifestation is within his mouth. All these points considered, Krishna cannot be measured. How then did Yashoda want to measure him and bind him? We must conclude that this book plays simply on the platform of pure transcendental love. This was the only cause. Everything is one. Because Krishna is the supreme cause of everything. Krishna cannot be measured or calculated by Vedic knowledge. Vedic should learn. He is available only to devotees. Devotees can handle him. because they act on the basis of loving service. Thus, Mother Yashoda wanted to bind him. Jai Jai Shri Jai Jai Shri दुर्लभम And he wanted actually that time he wanted to marry, you know. Yeah, he find also. Yeah, but then uh, one time, Primaraj he Madhuriya, Madhuriya, the subsequent first time I went. Yeah. This is what is that? Shanti. Ah, yeah, they, they have, have also something. something. Yeah, you have had something there, but for them, marriage is, he has his thing. <laughs> I even remember one time, Miss Kimisha Namaraj, but 
ieftinie război. Și tolmi, schimb ce n-am arat și tolmi, n-am o hice aici. Ai How many people are suffering without father and mother? <laughs> devotee cannot do this. Real <laughs> devotee will never do. Abortion and this things are good things. Just quick. Ashram make us how to suffer and be strong. How to be more tolerant? Mataji is in the dead position. She can die any moment. I understand this. I said to her to yesterday. Because 20 minutes without breathing means mind. They are watching only that she has the mind is free or not. When it blocks, then everything is slowly been blocked. Mm -hmm. Our director can help. Is it, she is living in the ventilator. You see, Mirzala was also in the ventilator. Mm -hmm. They opened and she left. Mm -hmm. This is happening to Mata's laws. Niti was also cross with this. But what happened? One day, last day when she's going, she went to Niti and she took her bad energy and then she collapsed. So she gave good energy to Niti and she left her. This, this one karma she do good. 